in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a $500 10 kilogram, otherwise known as 25 pound Panda Buy haul. There are some crazy good items in this and you guys are going to love this. And definitely stay towards the end because there's some literal food. I'm not joking. I bought food. So definitely stay to the end and watch it because you guys are going to love this. I love y'all. Peace. And let's get to the opening. We spent a total of $500 on this massive 10 kg Panda Buy haul. And y'all are going to watch me unbox it and open it up. And let's see what beautiful items we have today. Let's get it. Also, a few of y'all pointed out the terrible mic quality of last video. And I just want to apologize, but I actually did get a new mic right here. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. I actually kind of need that feedback. But let's actually get to the unboxing. First, we need a knife. And I don't have one. So, oh my god, I just spawned in a knife. <laughs> if I cut or break any items, I will kill myself. We have literally everything laid on the floor. There is more stuff coming in a few days. But you may be wondering, what is in this big ass box? Well, I have the answer. I bought food off Panda Buy. <laughs> Stay to the end because there's more coming later. And I will taste test these on camera for a different video. Let's get to the items. Y'all already know how we do it around here. Everything is gonna be on the spreadsheet in the special section for the YouTube videos. And the pricing will be right here. But for item number one, we have this very crisp Chrome Heart case. It has some Chrome Heart branding right there. And that's literally it just for a phone, iPhone case. I honestly have no idea why I bought this. I don't even like this that much. I mean, it's cool though. It's got suede and like some reflective. Why the fuck did I buy this? And if you're wondering, it does fit my iPhone 11, which is pretty cool. So yeah. Uh, $3, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Item number two, we have this Broken Planet Bone Tea. We're definitely gonna see a ton of Broken Planet. I sold out. And this is literally it, just says Broken Planet on the chest with nothing else, very nice color. Mm. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Item number three, we have yet some more Broken Planet. Are you seeing a theme? But here we have the basic Broken Planet branding that's obviously gonna be puff. And we did get them straight fit, but let's try them on. These are really fucking baggy, so if you buy anything from Rep Dog, please size down. I'm gonna kill myself. Overall though, I'm gonna give them like a six. <laughs> Item number four, some more Broken Planet. Everyone needs a basic black tee from time to time, and yet we get some more Planet right there. And there's a the tag. You can wear this with literally anything, which is exactly why I bought it. Call me basic, I don't give a fuck. Again, it has the same type of simple but nice material as the other one. I gotta like how it fits though. This is a small and this is again $15, so pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Up next, we have another Unity of Strength tee that says Pulp Fiction. This graphic is actually insane, peep that. Pretty sure this chick overdosed on coke in the movie, which is pretty cool. Let's try it on. I gotta say, I am loving the way this fits. This fits actually perfect. I got the regular style. Kind of makes my badge kind of itchy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. All Unity of Strength tees are gonna be a 10 out of 10. So let's keep it going. I am glazing their cock right now with how many shit I bought from them. This is pretty fire. I don't give a fuck. This is fire. Nice little tag. I'm loving this fucking puff print, bro. What? This is actually sick. The materials could be a little better, like a little thicker, but the puff print is insane. You can wear this like this, like this, if you want to sweat your fucking balls off. Overall though, I'm gonna give it like a seven because the materials could be a little better. This could be a little thicker because I like all my shit thick. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. On to the next. We have yet another pair of black fucking mesh shorts. Literally wearing some right now. I have this same pair in blue, which is pretty fire. So let's see how it fits. I gotta say, I'm loving the way these fit. Definitely like five, six inch inseam. And they aren't see-through, what? 10 times better than Eric Emanuel's, I don't give a fuck. Fuck Eric Emanuel's. I'm wearing these for the rest of the video. On to the next. We have this beautiful gallery department work jacket. Look at the tag. Rip this shit real quick. Hey, and it came with this. This is what it looks like unfolded. And I gotta say, this material is heavy as fuck. You're gonna love this. That's the back. Nah, this is fire. And it has this little sleeve patch. So this is how it fits me, unzipped. I live in Florida. I don't know why I bought this, but the quality is actually immaculate, super heavy. I'm really liking these sleeves. This is what it looks like fully zipped up. Yo, check out this fit though. This is the fit. If you don't like that, fuck you. Psych! I lied, this is my fit. This shit tough, I don't give a fuck. I don't pistol, definitely a 10, I don't care. 
and it was like $40. And for the very last clothing item, we have a Vivian Westwood pendant chain thingy. I don't, I don't know, just open it up, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what I'm talking. I do gotta say though, I love the bag and the packaging. Just look at that, it's, it's sexy. Again, does come with the nice little box. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> and it comes with a nice little pouch. So right here we have this Vivian Westwood mini pendant Saturn thingy. I, I don't fucking know, it's got nice little diamonds on it. It's actually really nice, I'm really fucking with it. And I am gonna wear these for 30 days and make a YouTube video about it, so definitely stay tuned for that. Did you subscribe yet? Nah, but this is what it looks on me, it looks pretty cool. I definitely look like a femboy. So for the next 30 days, I am gonna be putting this on and showering with it, so I'm gonna look like a femboy. Please like the video for my sanity. Does the mic, can I put this on with the mic though? That's the question. Yes, I can. We're good boys. <sighs> so this is officially day two. I woke up sick as fuck, so don't mind the striations in my voice. As you can see, we have some small packages. I bought fucking food. Don't ask me how they went through customs, because I don't know myself. So let's let's do that. Let's, let's, let's get to the unboxing. My heart just dropped, bro. I thought that was blood. I swear I almost just shit myself. They put a box in a box. Oh my god, another fucking box. I'm gonna get this So there's around 10 pounds of Chinese food on my floor right now. Let's go through and see what I bought. Cause I don't even know what I bought. I can't read this shit. So for this one, this is the, that came in the big box. I have no idea what this is. I wanna say noodles. That's what it looks like right there. Um, I think that's steak or pork. That's a lot. That was also really loud probably. Fuck it, I'm gonna make a tower, hold on. Pretty sure something similar happened in 2001. Um, I don't know, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> For this big box, they're literally all the same flavor. So uh, we're gonna taste test these sooner or later. So stay tuned for that. But let's see the other snacks. We built a little wall with the cups. Anyways, the next item, we have this four times spicy ramen. I know it used to go crazy on YouTube, those ramen videos, I don't fucking know why. I'm not really a big spicy guy, but I'm gonna try these for y'all entertainment. I can't really read any of that. So if we got any Chinese, Japanese, I don't know what language that is. Oh, it's Korean. Made in Korea. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing in this regard. Next up, you know I had to get something I was somewhat familiar with. We got some Lay's and the spicy craw spicy crawfish flavor. <laughs> what the fuck? That's ah, what the fuck? <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Oh my god. I feel like this is gonna be good though. I've never had crawfish, so I hope it's not bad. <laughs> But yeah, we got two lace chips. I had another one, but it took too long to get to the warehouse, so I said, fuck it. The show must go on, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we got three packs of, I'm gonna assume Oreos. Um, I've never seen this flavor. I don't really eat Oreos that much, but you know what I'm saying, there we go. I think, yeah, they're all the same flavor. It's like a chocolate, milk chocolate type of thing. We're still gonna try it because I don't know, it's from China, so it's pretty interesting. It was actually called uh, Ziaozian, I'll put it up on the screen. Don't know how to fuck pronounce that or say that or what it means, but yeah, I'm surprised it actually came not busted. Let's hope that they didn't put anything crazy on this so I can actually eat it safely. Let's get to the last food item though. Next up, we have some more spicy chips, I think. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's a fucking can. Okay, I've never seen that. Should I open this now? Fuck it, I'm opening it, I don't give a fuck, it's my video. Damn, that's stiff as fuck. There we go. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I should eat that or not. I've never seen anything like this, but it's uh, apparently pretty spicy. We got the Mr. Hot on the front. I don't know, definitely stay tuned for that because I'm gonna taste test everything that's on my floor right now. Um, that was the haul, let me know what y'all think. I love y'all, peace.